Hello and good evening everyone, this is the Burning Donut reporting as live as possible in recorded format. Well, I just figured today I'd do another tutorial. I know, I know, that's just what we need, another tutorial from an amateur. But this is one that I've gotten a couple requests for and figured what the heck I'd give it a go. Alright. <clears throat> today we will be discussing glow stick slash lightsaber effects. Okay. What we have here is a basic layout ready for all kinds of nifty effects thrown on her. Alright, oh, she's just like waiting for it. And basically I drew her up the other night specifically for the tutorial. But she's actually kind of a cool looking character. I might have to use her for something later on. But alright. <clears throat> Moving on with the tutorial. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to have you know, we want to think about what color it's supposed to be. And also, maybe we should try to avoid using the word lightsaber too much, because uh, we could get, I could get sued or something. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to think about the color we want. For now, let's try to keep things fairly basic. Let's go with uh, a basic red or blue. <clears throat> now, one thing I recommend doing especially when you're dealing with anything involving weird colors is when you go online you come across a color or something you like and this relates to more than just glowy effects you know for instance like you know maybe you have a certain shade of white or a certain shade of black you want to use but Photoshop doesn't regularly have it what you do is you save the picture is you save the picture so that you can color sample it. And I'm going to do this here. Uh, let's see here. Is now when you look at a lightsaber, what do you have? You have the part where the energy is the strongest, which is in the center. And then as the glow effect kind of goes away, you kind of start to see more of the color. So what we're going to do is we're going to color sample from in the center which is almost a basic white so theoretically you could you know and then we're going to get some of the blue or something off the edge here okay so now here's what we're going to do we're going to duplicate the layer that is basically this white blurch here we're going to duplicate it let's go blade flat copy okay we're going to leave that one white and we're going to put the blue we're going to put the blue we'll go back down to the first blade layer and we're going to put the blue on here now this is for just a regular standard lightsaber effect okay we're going to put the blue down here and then we're going to make the you know we're going to start seeing the upper layer again and what we're going to do is we're going to leave that white okay so what we're going to do with the white layer is we're going to take we're going to go filter blur Gaussian blur Gaussian blur however you pronounce it and it doesn't have to be huge or big or small but you know there you go and I just know that you know since my screen capture hates gradients this is gonna look like crap but it's amazingly simple you know it really is okay now the thing is a glow stick and a lightsaber both have different properties about how they glow remember I said with a lightsaber the center is going to be white but as you can see a glow stick basically the center is you know ultimately the color of the stick so what we're going to do and you know the, one of the reasons you do the color sampling with the glow sticks is because really a lot of times it's the color that causes the glowy effect especially when you keep track of like what the color of the backgrounds are and stuff so to get the more glow sticky like effect we're going to go back to the blade layer 
okay we're going to take and we're going to put down some of the blue some of the blue from the glow stick okay now we're going to take and duplicate that layer uh, duplicate layer blade flat copy and then again we're going to go Gaussian blur and there you go okay and like I said you know remember with the and again this is gonna look like crap because of the way that the there's more you can do after this okay there's to, to get some nifty effects going on what we're going to do is we're going to go add some highlights you know and this is some stuff that you know even photoshoppers will think is cool because like this 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 lightsaber effect thingy here is cool but anyone who really knows how to use photoshop is going to know how you did it so what we're going to do is we're going to stay with the color of the blade and we're going to add some highlights you know because the light is going to be reflecting off of her part of the reason I chose to use a dark color is because dark darker colors are a lot easier to highlight than light colors All right, let's see if there's maybe a little bit of light reflecting on her hip here Alright, get try to get the shape of her uh try to you know when you're dealing the nice thing about the the female shape is that it gives you a lot of really nice curves to work with. Alright. We're going to take we're going to go into the paint bucket tool area and we're gonna switch it to gradient. Okay. And we're going to take and just a couple nudges here of the glow stick effect now and you want kind of the edges to be brightest deselect doesn't that look cool Like I said, this is gonna look like crap because of my screen capture and stuff. Now, if you want <coughs> even more effects, another cool thing to do is you make a new layer. Honestly, I should, everything I did there I really should have had on a new layer. You just use your pencil tool. Like, let's see, along her uh, outfit here. Going to be some, maybe a little bit of roughly spots on the fur. Now, if you're like the color is way too bold now, don't 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 worry too much about that. Uh, that'll be fixed in a moment. Okay. And we're going to duplicate. We're going to take the upper layer and we're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Doesn't have to be too extreme. Yeah, a lot of it's pretty light. And we're going to go, now remember, like, like you said, the colors are pretty bold. We go to the lower layer and we lower its opacity just enough. There. Like I said, the freaking screen capture is going to make this look like crap. I mean, it really does look cool. But the screen capture is just going to mess with it so much. And what you have here is a character with very minimal effort looking really cool and really professional. And that is how you get a nice glow sticky lightsabery plasma blade esque effect. I am the governor of the West Coast.
And I got to, got to, got to go. There's a robot revolution. So we got to, got to, got to go. Let me tell you something. I'm totally serious about this. We have to get the hell out of here. The robots are attacking the human race. And the cyber dinosaurs become self-aware and all that. With the robots. What are you doing? This is not the chorus. This is a warning. What the hell's the matter with you?